We are underway here at Mill Farm eventually. Hobson with the shot by Alden, but fouls have themselves a corner here, which Hawke will take. The likes of Graham and the dangerous Harry Davis up there from set pieces, but he's played it short instead to Max Conway. Back to Nick Horton, puts the ball in at the near post, and it's nearly flicked in by Ustabashi, but Hudson was behind it. Alden will bring it forward. Hogan clips the ball upfield, looking for the flick on from Hallam Hope. It is one in the air by Hope, but it's only found Harry Davis. Long ball upfield is flicked on by Charman. It's fallen nicely for Josh Kay. Alden resisted the urge to head the ball clear. Josh Kay goes to the shot, and it's flashed wide. But good work from the coasters yet again. Maidenhead have doubled their lead away at Aldershot. They lead by two goals to nil. Hobson's ball is intercepted by Josh Kay. Finds Luke Sharman on the edge of the box. Gives it out wide to Jonathan Ustabashi. Ustabashi up against Kitchen. Ustabashi goes to the shot! And into the bottom left corner! Foyle take the lead after ten minutes here at Mill Farm. And it's nothing more than they deserve. Josh Kane, it was with the interception from Sean Hobson's pass. He played it wide. The Luke Sharman, Sharman over to the far side for Jonathan Ustabashi. He ran it kitching and buried it into the bottom left corner. Past the reach of Matthew, Matthew Hudson in the Olden goal. And after 10 minutes at Mill Farm, it's AFC filed one, Olden Athletic nil. Throw a bit of a cheap concession of possession there from Chris Peach's Chris Beach's side Josh Kay wins the ball back but the ball is out of play for an Oldham throw come Benny wins it back Graham now across to Barrett Barrett across now on this right hand side running down the right hand side puts the ball across queue it up Josh Kay with the shot it's into the bottom right corner doubled their lead it was a teasing ball across the ball across the box from Connor Barrett no one in white could get there it fell nicely to Josh Kay who just caressed the ball into the bottom right corner and Fial have doubled their lead after 12 minutes here 2-0 Chris Beach wanted a reaction from the poor form that filed up. Connor Barrett will take. He's going to look for Luke Sharman. You see, he plays it said to Cumbeni. Cumbeni leaves it for Whitehead. Cumbeni across now to Barrett again. Finds Sharman in front of him. Sharman attempted to go for goal. Plays it short to Horton. Through for Luke Sharman. Sharman one on one. He's falling to Kay. Hits the ball. And it's surely over the line, is it? It's not been given. That will cause some controversy at look for all intents and purposes. As though first Luke Sharman and then Josh Kay had put file three in a look there, but a superb save from Hudson. And then the follow-up from Kay was cleared off. Mickey Mellon's side face an uphill battle to get back into this one. Two goals down and a man down here with just over 45 minutes to go. The ball is with Callum, uh, with Max Conway, sorry, on the left-hand side. He'll play it in front of him to Josh Kay. Kay up against Sutton. Kay will get the cross in. Flicked on the head by Horton, and it's cut off the line again by Hudson. Filed again so close to a third goal. Kumbeni to Horton, first time shot is saved by Hudson. But filed so close to that third goal again. And Conway brings it forward. He'll play it through to Kay on the left. Really good challenge from Sutton. K still going though. K across to Horton. Great save again from Hudson. He's kept holding in this one. Graham wins it back for Fylde. Now to Rooster Bashi over to the right hand side looking for Barrett. Ball towards the edge of the box for Charman. It's taken off in though and Fylde just about lose out there. It's Devon Green will play it back to Shelton. Now to Kitching ball upfield looking for James Norwood. One in the air though by Sam Graham. Ustabashi with the nod on to Charman. Charman will look for the flick on back. It comes off Devon Green and it will be a throw in for Oldham. A throw in for Fylde. 
on the pretty much the halfway line. Barrett throws it back to Sam Graham. Graham across to Harry Davis. Max Conway for Fylde on the left. Plays it in front of him to Josh Kay, who's been superb all game. Kay takes it past Sutton in space now. The coast is number 14, edge of the box is Kay. Still going Josh Kay, out to Horton, now to Kumbeni. Kumbeni will go for the shot and straight down the throat of Hudson, but Wilde again with a shot on target. So it will be Fylde to get us back underway for the second half. Horton plays it to Lundstrom. will take the free kick. Several blue shirts in and around the edge of the box. Ball comes deep towards the back post. It's flicked wide by the head of the Coasters captain Harry Davis and who's the bash he brings it forward last ditch challenge from a guy who was unsuccessful and filed have a chance to break here with who's the bashy takes it wide who's the bashy still going who's the bashy good save Charman nearly on the follow-up but Hudson held firm Hudson with the goal kick for Oldham looking for the flick on from Norwood it does come but only as far as Cumbeni has been excellent tonight for the coasters long ball over the top for Josh Kay and a foot race against Hobson Hobson makes the challenge barely says the referee but Kay will continue his run out on the edge of the box now for Horton Horton inside the box Horton goes to the shot and it's just over the bar Hudson would have seen it over anyway it was frustrated that they couldn't get the ball upfield sooner Ball over the top, looking for Devon Green. Harry Davis will head it into the path of his centre-half teammate, Sam Graham, who is completely unchallenged. Barrett now plays it short to Whitehead. Filed yet to make a change so far in this game. Emika Roby seal against uh, Taylor O'Kane, Joe Rowley and Golda Mateo at Chris Beach's disposal. Ball through. Finds Ustabashi. He's got Horton up there as well in support. Ustabashi will go along though. Ustabashi! Good save from Hudson at the near post. John Ustabashi is brimming placement for either of the central midfielders for Fylde. Harry Davis, the Coasters captain tonight, will play it short. A one two with Cumbeni. Back to Horton now. Filder just content with making Oldham work for this and trying to create gaps in the back if they can. It's with Barrett on the right. Plays it short to Danny White. It'll skew it towards the back post for Rowley. Rowley does well to meet it at the far side. Plays it to Conway. Conway across to Whitehead he's being urged to shoot by the traveling or the coasters fans behind the goal Whitehead only to Horton now Horton on the edge of the box Horton goes to the shot and it's saved by ball in their own possession but Legenza doesn't get there come Benny through to O'Kane it's a slip from Taylor O'Kane on the edge of the box but it's a slip from Shelton who's to Bassi with a shot into the top left corner that is the icing on the cake for the Coasters. Jonathan Ustabashi with his second of the game. Surely now wraps up. He was a slip from Shelton. Ustabashi picks it up. Only had one thought in his mind and lashed it right into that top left corner past the reach of Matt Hudson. He was named sponsors man of the match a few minutes ago and he's merited that call now.